you know, whatever she said during the interview, uh, it, does that in mm. any way exonerate the fact that he forged the bank, bank note in the first place to secure an interview, whatever the effect of the interview might have been? It, it doesn't exonerate the BBC's actions. It doesn't exonerate the fact that, that they, they used a foul means to get this interview, to secure this interview, to scare, literally scare Princess Diana. Dajahal, Barry here, <clears throat> just taking a moment. Um, I'm going to get to the, the big why. Uh, hey, Nihal. 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 Hello. hello, hello. I've got some friends joining me here. I've got, I've got my little cat friend. And it's a nice time of day, so people are coming out to take photographs. Mums and daughters and boyfriends and girlfriends and things like this. And um, so, the big why is that the MIAPC are terrified of China. The people of the West are being taught to be terrified of China, okay? And the reason is the fear that, and they use these phrases, China threatens our way of life. China threatens our values, okay? Now, these, this way of life that they talk about uh, and these values that they talk about are not the, the way of life of ordinary people like you and me. They're not the values of ordinary people like you and me. They're the way of life of the robber baron scumbags, of which they are all in the gang, okay? The 5% that are feeding uh, everything up to the 1%, okay? So it's the 1% we're talking about. And they are terrified. If the people of the rest of the world come to realize and understand okay that China is getting everything right that China's way of doing things is working it's working for people 800 million people lifted out of absolute poverty by the year 2020 it happened it's provable fact right there is no country in the world that can keep pace with the development of China and China is a win-win situation it wants to create win-win situations with all those countries that wish to cooperate with it okay and this is not aggressive okay I'll, I'll give you an example of aggressive versus non-aggressive aggression isn't in the Chinese mentality I've told you this before I've spoken about this before it's not in the Chinese mentality when Chinese people when we want to defend our homes okay what we do you might see behind me most if not all of the houses in China have got bars on the windows okay now this is what I call a uh, preemptive defense. That is to say there are bars. They look like they're aluminium. Inside there are steel bars. And it basically deters anybody from trying to rob, uh, burgle the houses, okay? In America, uh, you want to, people defend their homes. They, they, they buy guns, you know? And uh, in China, we have this. We have bars. They don't look pretty, but they're very, very effective. And it's a whole lot less hassle than having to shoot somebody. <laughs> you know what I mean? And here's the, this different in mindset. Uh, in America, you defend yourself with a gun. In China, the defense is preemptive. Now, this is China's way. It's, we will defend the Great Wall, okay? Here's another thing. The Great Wall was built to defend China right to keep invaders out it wasn't aggressive it's not an aggressive thing China is not aggressive China is accused of having a firewall it's there to protect people from all the rubbish that is spewed from the West okay it's there to protect people the truth is that the West has its own firewall the Western firewall is designed to stop any positive message about the Chinese way, about China's way of life, about China being a great country, about China having a great way of doing things, the Western firewall is designed to stop this message. I got banned twice on Twitter. I am terribly suppressed on YouTube. Uh, I've had like 17,000 uh, subscribers for about the past four months and the figures won't move. YouTube even delete comments that I make on my own channel. This morning, I made a comment about this thing, the big thing, the reason why there is the propaganda against China is because they're terrified. I made this on my own channel on YouTube. YouTube deleted. So 
understand what is actually going on and why it's going on yeah the MIC and the weapons that's one thing but the real thing is the sheer terror the fear that they are in the one percent are terrified that the rest of the world is going to wake up too hey China's right Zhongguo has got things right what China is doing is working for people why can't we be the same why can't we do this do you understand that's the why that's the big why right now and that is the big fear they fear their robber baron scumbag way of life is over and it is it's gonna happen there's no ifs no buts no maybes this is gonna happen sooner or later I would much prefer sooner just for the benefit of the rest of the world the policies in China the the policies change and they alter and they they get reformed and they are improved and adapted they're not fixed so you can say well it's one party it's authoritarian it's bullshit okay it's one party and it remains one party for one reason because it's the people and the people are still the people you see you understand the people are still the people which is why the party is still the party but in China the policies change the policies change to suit the times to suit the circumstances to suit the situation the policies get reformed in the West this doesn't happen okay in the West the policies always remain the same and the policies favor do the policies favor the people no come on come on wake up get with the program here get 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 up to speed okay I'm asking you to get up to speed ask yourself honestly all these complaints all this discontent in the West is it because people are not satisfied okay people are not satisfied with the way things are being done with the way things are being run people are not satisfied and that is because the policies are built and designed to a divide and conquer people to make people fight amongst themselves and while you're fighting amongst yourself you have no say while you're fighting each other you have no say in what happens you have you've got too many other things to think about so the other reason is that the policies are geared up to to uh, benefiting the one percent okay the policies benefit the one percent and that's what it is and ask yourself all this uh, negativity towards China who benefits from it not you not the people around you not ordinary people the only people who benefit from these this negative propaganda this agitation this agit prop against China are the one percent Stephen McDonald has just done another piece to camera which Nathan Rich has taken to pieces and, and shown how ridiculous it is where they're trying to spin everybody into this uh, the latest thing Biden issued this we want to investigate the lab theory of coronavirus and it's like oh for fuck's sake when are you clowns going to give up with this so I, I did a, uh, an interview with Leo Shin in which we discussed the, the scandal uh, of about Princess Diana and how the BBC uh, actually lied to Princess Diana they lied to Princess Diana um, in order to get an interview with her and they lied to scare her now they're doing the same thing to you they're lying to you to scare you that China is this big bad enemy it, it doesn't exonerate the BBC's actions it doesn't exonerate the fact that, that they, they used a foul means to get this interview to secure this interview to scare literally scare Princess Diana into doing this it, nothing can be exonerated it's like a little while ago there was a scandal in the UK about phone tapping and and so then you have this this fundamental situation where it's not so much the story at the end of the day it's how did you get this story by what means did you obtain this story and if you obtain this story by unfair and nefarious and foul means then the story becomes a secondary issue it's how did you get this so it's like a phone tapping scandal the, the phone tapping scandals that happened before across the western media now you have another scandal they fake documents in order to scare somebody into giving an interview so the means by which they obtained this interview were completely wrong now if they will lie ask yourself this question if they will lie to a member of their own royal family the, the BBC will lie to their own princess to whom they should be loyal okay 
if they will lie to her they will lie to you they will lie to everybody okay they will lie to you so there you go um, this video will be a little bit scattered because we've had to shoot it in sections and uh, it's not been easy and um, but but uh, there's been all kinds of stuff going on which I hope will provide some entertainment to you um, anyway thank you very much for listening on this last eve of the dragon boat festival here in china and um i will speak to you again soon thank you very much bye bye yeah this i'm not messing i'm not standing around him that's a guy that that's a bull and he's got horns and he's walking right towards me and i am fucking going <laughs> what the fuck is that man <laughs> well i mean you no harm i am your friend Anyway, I'm going. I, I, I'm being interrupted by some local people and I'm trying to find out what they want. Claws, claws, ow, ow. <laughs> All right, that's, oh, that's enough now. Come on. <laughs> We've got dogs, cows, cats, people, kids, mums, boyfriends, girlfriends. <laughs> Everybody's coming down. Let me find a way to put this number my Hello, new heart. Ooh. Wait, wait, wait. These, these are boy. These are boy cats. Now it's a girl cat. Boy. <laughs> <laughs>